Who's of uh, Jack Roberts, writer of the uh, Rock and Roll Dreams of Duncan Christopher, also played Duncan Christopher. So. And that's premiering tonight here. Premieres tonight at the Offshoot Film Festival. Um, at how many different festivals has that movie been to now? And uh, how many so is it going far, to? This is our sixth festival. We've got another 17 in the works that are coming around the bend this fall. Uh, around the bend. That's funny because we're playing the Bend Film Festival tonight, the same night we're playing here in uh, Bend, Oregon. So how did we happen to get you here in Fayetteville? Um, we came, we brought the movie uh, right after it was done to the Summer Sidewalk series that the Seedling Film Festival mm -hmm. does. Um, and we really connected with the people here and, and just loved kind of your town and everything that you guys were doing in Northwest Arkansas. And kind of we kind of fell in love with it, so we agreed to come to the festival before we found out anything else. And, and so here we are. Hi. <laughs> and you're from uh, Tulsa originally, is that right? Yeah, originally I'm from Tulsa. Uh, Tulsa by way of Los Angeles, New York, Portland, and Kansas City. But Tulsa's, Tulsa's home. Right? Tell me a little bit about the movie. I mean, what was the inspiration for sure. the Dungeons and Dragons playing uh, uh, yeah. awkward guy? Well, you know, certain things are slightly autobiographical, as they always are when you tell a story. Um, I've been known to dabble in a little bit of magic myself, you know? Doing um, like D twenty type stuff. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, so rocking the uh, twelve sided die. You know, eleven sided. 12, 10, 10, 10, 10. So, One of those awkward, strange shapes. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, one of the shapes there's not a name for it. Um, yeah, I, I think I love the idea that um, I love humanity at our most bare, and I think nothing really exemplifies that, like uh, moments when we feel embarrassed or awkward. And so I, uh, I'm a big fan of the British Office, Ricky Gervais, and, and a lot of uh, a lot of that kind and style of comedy. And so um, my most awkward times ever were doing karaoke. And so I, uh, I, but you know, to my credit, I did try to do Michael Jackson's Billy Jean, which is slightly difficult when you don't, you know, when you're not Michael Jackson. So. Um, You've done some karaoke yourself then? Yeah. yeah okay. Yeah. Time or two. So, so there's authenticity in this film. Yeah, no, there's there's a lot. And that's kinda what we tried to capture was authenticity. It's a it's a fictional story, but we we really love the idea of um, of going with certain kinds of things in the moment and, and there's a lot there's there's a fair amount of improv in, in the film. Um, and I mean it was scripted but but there is uh, we kind of we kind of always left the door open for inspiration. So And the cast and crew mostly friends and locals? Uh, I mean I noticed no, there's no, a couple there's, of uh, actors, yeah. professional actors here. Yeah. Yeah, it's a SAG feature film, so okay. we're all SAG actors, and um, we brought people in from all over. We brought people in that had worked with Billy Bob Thornton and, and um, uh, Steve Carell, most notably, the, my romantic lead in the film. Um, she um, she's worked with those people. And she's she, she's a Tulsa originally. We brought her in from LA. Uh, Marshall Bell, who's a good friend of mine, um, we brought him in. He plays my uncle in the film. He's a crotchety old guy. You might remember him from uh, Twins. He's the hitman in Twins. Or the distant father in Stand by Me. Or um, Quato's host in Total Recall. For us nerds out there. Um, but he's uh, he's pretty awesome. It was fun to work with him. And really, every actor we brought in had a tie to Oklahoma of some sort. So we wanted to make it Oklahoma centric, um, and we wanted to use pros um, from all over. So we flew people in from Prague, LA, and New York. And so we, yeah. And all the, the soundtrack is 100% Oklahoma. Um, so local bands featured. That sort of thing. Uh, yeah, a lot of local bands and, and some bigger Oklahoma bands too. So um, and all of them are kind of on the cusp of blowing up right now, which is kind of fun. So. So am I going to laugh or am I going to cry when I watch this movie? Uh, maybe both. Maybe both. <laughs> um, there are moments of both. So it's it's kind of our favorite, the, the totality of the human experience. So. And I'm going to cringe? Oh, yeah. You'll definitely cringe a few times. Yeah. Yeah, but I think I think more than anything, what I hope I, th I hope people as they watch this is that they kind of they grow with Duncan because Duncan grows when he starts the film to when he ends the film and kind of gets comfortable in his own skin eventually. And um, I think that's always a good feeling. And um, I don't know. I hope that people that watch it experience that. So. Thanks a lot. I appreciate it. <laughs>
can't 